Hello everybody, how's it going? My name's Happy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own Minecraft quiz show. Let's begin! So the most useful thing you're going to find when making a Minecraft quiz show is that you'll need a second account. Here's mine over here, um, he, he's called Happy Cam, he's a beautiful guy, and this is going to be the guy who does all of the building, we're going to be the camera, and we're going to start by placing in a base for ourselves. So to help, we're facing west at the moment, and what we're going to do is we're going to grab some snow layers, and this is going to be where our camera will stand. So you want to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I just like to get some trapdoors and place them around the snow, because then that helps me know where the direction is. Usually, this will mean it's straight forwards. If it's like this, then it's to that way, and you get the idea. And then you can also get things like a pressure plate and place that down here, and then another thing I like to do is place a block like like this, this is going to help me get the coordinates, and I like to go set block, grab the coordinates of that, and then what I do is I do TP, the Happy Wheels one, or even easier, at P, like this, to those coordinates, and then I'll do 0, 0, which won't be the right direction, as you'll see, we're facing the wrong direction, so we need to do 90, 0, and then suddenly we're facing the correct direction, so what we're going to do is we're going to take those, and we're going to place them in a command block down underneath our pressure plate, just like that, and then every time we stand on this pressure plate, we'll get put in the right place. Now go and set your FOV to 30, and this is going to be the camera angle, we're going to take over now on my second account over here, and this is who is going to be doing all of the building. Now, now, what we're going to want to do is right from the base, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go six blocks forward. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be our gap. So we want to start building around about here. Okay, so now that we've got our camera set up, let's start building. We're going to be building a design for three players. So I'm going to place down some red concrete like this. This will be where our players will stand. And then I'm just going to place some red glass on top. In the middle of those, I'm just going to place in some stairs like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some trap doors, iron trap doors. And I'm going to just place them like this. One, two, just like that. And I'm going to place another two over here and then I'm going to do the same thing like this uh, to back and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the debug stick like so here's the debug stick if you haven't seen it before and I'm going to just left click until it says where is it open equals false and then I'll just click on the trap doors like so with the debug stick to bring them up now we're getting somewhat of a little podium, we're going to bring a sea lantern back here to produce some light, so this is just behind the podiums, there you go, just to produce some light, and then we'll get some carpet, I'm going to use some black carpet, now you're probably, probably starting to guess where this design has come from, if you're thinking the quiz live, then you are very, very correct, this is the design for the quiz live, I, I, I think. Yeah, it is. So, then what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself some buttons and go one, two, three. Now, obviously, you don't have to design your uh, your studio like this at all. You can design it, design it however you like. This is just a basic guide. Now, depending on where, where's the sun, build it in the direction of the sun if you really, really want to. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create our backdrop. Now, the backdrop, I am going to create differently. So, to start with, I'm just going to get some grey blocks. And it specific, more specifically, here. <laughs> light grey concrete, okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find on the camera where the block ends, so in that case it's two out from the trap doors on each side, just like this, and then I'm going to go up, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, so six up, and then just go across until the end of your build, and just place in the background like this. And once you've done that, we can start getting on to the more interesting parts because, I mean, hey, hey, if you want to stop there, that's perfectly fine. That looks quite nice. But we're going to go one step further with the decorations and we are going to get some red blocks, okay? Now we're going to go for red. And in fact, we're going to go for a, another grey. Let's go for normal grey concrete. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a brick formation. So use the light grey concrete as your sort of filler block and then start placing it in. I'm going to go from the middle for this one, so I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then I'm going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, just like that. We're going to place a one over there and a one over here, and then, uh, sorry, a two over there 
And then we need a one up here and a one down there. I do believe that is correct. Okay, so now that we've got our basic pattern in, what we're going to do is we're going to mix it up a little bit. We're going to get some, some colours. So I'm going to be using blue for this. And again, it's going to be the blue concrete. Um, we're just going to place in some blue every so often. There's, got, there's not going to be a real pattern to this as such. It's just going to be completely random. So we'll probably put one there and then probably one down there even. But, uh, yeah, that looks about good. I don't want to go too crazy on this because otherwise it will start to look a little bit see, weird. But just experiment with it and see what you can come up with. Maybe even keep it simple, so just something like that. Or even take your blue or your concrete... Um, your, 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 I'll get that eventually, sign type of cotter, and maybe just place it in here a little bit, maybe spice this area up a little bit, add some different parts, maybe just make your design a little bit more wacky, but obviously this is all down to personal preference, so I'm just going to keep it like this, just for now, as a simple design. If you want to make things a bit more leafy, just place some leaves in like this, just go simple to start with, so again, I'm just going to go like this with the leaves, um, probably bring one up, which I don't really need to go up, but I'm going to bring a few leaves like that and then maybe even have one coming out like that. And again, this is just preference as well, but it's what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do with the leaves. Now, because I'm using shaders, I'm going to have to fill in a few extra blocks on the side, but that's okay. There's no need to worry about that. And we can probably remove that one as well. Nah, let's keep that one in. So, yep, that's going to be the leaves. And if you really want to now, you can add in your um, design for the... Uh, buzzers so you want to go from your buzzer so stand inside the buzzer and go one two three so here's gonna be there there and we are gonna have to remove this block but there so that's gonna be where our buzzers are now because we had a, uh, a leaf block here we're gonna go for some green glass now I'm gonna be using uh, stained glass but we're gonna go for a green block here we're gonna go for a gray block here to match up with the block that we removed and then we're going to go for another grey block there so you basically just want to be matching up the blocks that you have removed with your system so what you're going to want to do is just place some redstone lamps behind here don't worry about the connections with the glass just make it look nice and then what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to not move the camera oh dear so for this section we're going to be using command blocks and yes i had to bring them in eventually because otherwise the buzzers aren't going to work. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch over to our other account now. So this account over here, just down in the corner there. And we're going to start work on doing some commands. So here is our little system area that we've built so far. And as you can see, our buzzers aren't really doing anything. If we press them, the lights aren't lighting up. So we're going to pop behind the scenes and underneath our redstone lamps, just down on the ground, we're going to place in some redstone command blocks like this. And we're going to do one of the uh, buttons for now it's the same for the rest so what you want to do is you want to type in a command you want to type in execute if block and then get the coordinates of the block and then you want to do what block it is so this is a stone button there it is and you want to do uh, right after stone button do your square brackets and then type powered equals true okay and that's your command so we're going to copy that for now we're going to go round the back go to this light and we're going to go like that and then we're going to grab this block here we're going to go set block in fact if you really want to we can just paste that in do run set block like that get the coordinates redstone underscore block so at the moment it's not going to do anything but let's paste that into our command block down here set the command block to always active and repeat do that for all of these just like so and then what we can do is we can pop back around the front and we can give this thing a test Hey everybody and welcome to the sister show of the quiz live don't tell happy but we might have stolen his intro from the quiz live let's introduce our first contestant Hey, my name's Happy, and I've somehow appeared here. I don't know how I'm here, but I guess I'm here. But come on, please, someone tell me, how did I get here? Once you're here, it becomes a lot more real, and I really hope I'm going to win today. So good luck to everybody else, but watch out for me. Okay, let's walk up, get into the first booth, push the button, 
and it worked straight away no delay how good is that now obviously these ones aren't working because we haven't set them up yet but we now have our buzzer system there is no reset system for now so we will have to go and do that every time we want to reset uh, if you do want to reset just have a set you know obviously your second account set up somewhere and just have a button that clears the area around the back from this block to this block and to do that you just do slash fill this coordinate to this coordinate with air and that would replace all of those uh, resident blocks with air which would turn off all of the lights at the front i think that will do for the buzzer system nice and simple if you do want to expand and change it then you can make systems whereby when you press the button uh, the lights pop up and there's a redstone lamp that turns the light on and the rest of the buzzers disappear so that way there's no double buzzing but for now this is just something simple so i think what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to change up how this looks just the front of it and i'm going to leave it up for download so i'm going to put some signs around and there's going to be a few instructions on how to use the um the camera area and the buzzers but yeah i'm actually going to make this a world download so if you folks want to download this make sure you check it out link will be down in the description um also just for this you will need a server so sticky piston hosting is the place to go again link in the description below for that i believe it's a 20 percent lifetime discount uh but that is in the description if i've got that wrong so yeah go check that out and uh yeah and enjoyed this if you really want to build this thing then i'm not sh you know not stopping you um it, it would look nice with different glass though uh oh that looks fancy and then some cyan glass as well pretty much folks it's all about experimentation you don't need to use the exact same design as this obviously if you do go to download this uh, this world you can customize it as much as you like this is just a little example test for you but yeah this is a basic guide on how to make a quiz show uh yeah, this is, a, this is a quiz show, isn't it? Basic guide on how to make a quiz show. Thank you so much for watching. Again, this will be down in the description below. And, I mean, if you if you want to see how it looks from um, from a non-camera perspective, then then here you go. This is this is what it looks like. This is this is what you'll get as part of the world download. Obviously, I'll leave some signs around. But now, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I shall see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, did I say subscribe? Subscribe, please.